Fresh from the blog of Fal, we've got three new things to completely fill our GPUs with. There is a new version of Aura Flow, which if you remember from my previous video about it, was great at following prompts. And this new version is even better at generating text. They've also got a new version of the Aura SR Upscaler, which you can use to upscale your image and make it nice and crispy like the example there. Plus, from Black Forest Labs comes this new one, Flux Schnell. And could this be the best model yet? Well, let's find out. The latest Aura Flow to start with then version 0.2. If you saw my previous video on Aura Flow, you will have seen how well that model would follow the prompts. This latest version can do that too, but is now much better at generating text. Hardware wise, it's best with at least 24 gig of RAM, but people have said it will work with less if you don't mind the performance hit. Aura Flow models are nicely natively supported in Comfy UI, meaning all you need to do to get up and running is to download the new model file there, the Aura Flow 0.2 safe tensors, into your models checkpoints directory, just like it is here in mine. And the same for the previous version 0.1 you can see there too. Really basic workflow here then, so we can compare version 0.1 and 0.2. Both get the same prompt and sees, although I've also attached a high-res fix to version 0.2 as I've not really tested or shown that before. Okay, so let's have a look at these images. First of all, on the left there, you've got Aura Flow 0.2, then Aura Flow 0.1 on the right, and beneath that, we've got the high res fix. So as you can see, 0.1, 0.2, 0.2 is definitely better. I'm asking here for a woman in a forest. She should have long black hair, a blue t-shirt and a rat logo with the word nerd on it. I can clearly see the word nerd there. And that's why I quite like the high res fix as it can update some of those letters that are a little bit wrong. So like the E and the R there. So those have gone and it's also updated the rodent. Of course, her face, I actually prefer the original one. So your mileage may vary. For the second prompt, I'm asking for a cheese potion with magical cheese mist emerging from it to form the letters spelling out drink me above it. And hopefully next to that should be a tiny rodent warlock. The outputs on this occasion are fairly similar. You can actually read the drink me on that, which isn't always the case with Aura Flow 0.1. Aura Flow 0.2, definitely a nice one there. And of course, the high res fix version, even better. I do like the little rodent. With it being so good at both following the prompt and generating text, one obvious thing to do is create custom birthday cards. For example, you could put prompts in there for someone that you know and maybe all their favorite things. I don't know, maybe they're into snakes or spiders or rodents or goodness knows what, whatever. You could make a very nice custom birthday card. But what do they actually look like? Well, once again, I think I prefer version two over version one. Both of them do have tiny little errors in the text. It's not quite spelling birthday even in the high res fix, but it's definitely better. And I think with a few more random generations, you'd get one that actually says happy birthday properly. Prompt number four, then I'm hoping for a vintage photograph and it's got a French woman with ginger hair and she should be wearing a modern t-shirt with of course a cool rodent logo on it. Now, because things often bleed and get confused between different animals, Next to her is a painting of a rabbit artist who is taking a photograph of a summer landscape using his tiny little camera. And of course, just to make things even more difficult, in the background is a scene of utter devastation with the chaos forming the word chaos. Well, once again, I think that's a clear win for Aura Flow 0.2. The rabbit very nicely there taking his photograph. Um, I mean, her arm is a little bit dodgy there, but of course, on the high res fixed, it has improved things a little bit. Version 0.1, it's sort of got the word chaos. Mind you, it hasn't got the word chaos there either. Has got the rodent, but yes, I definitely prefer 0.2. On to the upscaling then. This is very, very simple indeed. It's just one node and scroll in here. So this is the Aura SR upscaler. You've got a couple of modes and they're all four times. So you're gonna get a very large image out of this. As you can see, there we go. That is very, very, very good quality. I mean, compare it to the original image above. And yes, that's that's very good indeed. I'm not really seeing any artifacting. I mean, there's a little bit on the leaf there, but that's 
that's the same as in the original. So as far as upscales go, that is fantastic. Let's have a quick look at them in as full as I can do in their tabs. So there is the normal size and then we've got the upscale. So yeah, I mean, that is really very good indeed. The mist is, is pretty good. That's, that is a fantastic upscale. I like it. Finally then, let's take a quick look at Flux. Of course, there is an example workflow there on Comfy UI examples, but there are a few things you need to do for this one. So first of all, if you don't have that T5 XXL and the Clip L safe tensors already in your Comfy UI models clip directory, then you need to download them using that link. Here they are in mine Comfy UI models clip. So you've got that one, which is the smaller one. So that's a FP8. So if you've got less RAM, then it's probably a good idea to use that. Or you've got the full size FP16 there. I've also got the Clip L. The next thing you need is the custom VAE. Again, there's a link for it there. And that goes into your Comfy UI models VAE directory. Here it is in mine then, Comfy UI models VAE. And there is AE.SFT. .SFT is just safe tensors. Finally, then you need one of the Flux models. Now there's a dev version there that has a different license, but there's also a Flux Schnell model, which is the one I'm going to be using here. So that goes into there. So Comfy UI models unit, because I like to be different, of course, I've put an extra directory in there, but Comfy UI models unit, and there you've got the Flux one Schnell SFT. Remember in Comfy UI, the image is the workflow. So open that up in Comfy UI and you'll be ready to go. Because I like colors, I've colored the various nodes in, but here it is. Okay, so you've got the unit loader up the top there. That is loading the model. We've got a dual clip loading that T5 and the clip L. And we've got our standard little prompt there. We've also got a custom sampler this time, which is basically Euler simple. So that's absolutely fine. And we've got the load VAE. Okay, all fairly simple. Let's have a go and see what comes out. I'll run those same prompts through again. So first of all, we've got our professional HDR photo of that Canadian woman, long black hair, t-shirt, strange creatures in the background, forest with a cool rodent logo on it. Let's see what comes out. Uh, what the actual, that's, We've got a rodent logo. It says the word nerd. It's got all these strange creatures in the background. What? Okay, all right, let's try another prompt. We'll try our rodent again this time. So we've got the misty letters forming out of the potion and how well will Flux do on this one? That's, that's stupidly good. I mean, apart from the fact it's not quite made out of mist, what i'm i i actually don't know what to say because that's really good i mean look look at it look look how cool the little rodent is look, uh, wow all right okay okay let's try another prompt so we've got our birthday card this time a nice pleasing oil painting happy birthday and a victorian library in the background oh come off it it's got happy birthday at the top, 2149. That's my fault. I can fix that prompt. But just look how good that, that's nuts. That is, that is completely squirrel nuts. Wow. Wow. All right, let's try another prompt. Okay, we got the vintage photo this time. So woman on the left with ginger hair, rodent logo on the t-shirt, rabbit artist. Yeah, remember that one? Okay, how does that come out? Oh, I forgot to say as well, actually the default workflow starts with 20 steps, but you don't actually need that many because it's a distilled model. So you can actually just get away with four steps. Four, four steps. Oh, this is just silly. I mean, okay, so she hasn't got the rodent logo on her t-shirt. I mean, even if I squint, that's not a rodent logo, but that's got the word chaos, not necessarily made out of chaos, but she's got the ginger hair. Painting of a rabbit, holding a camera. Wow. Okay, that I I think I know which model I prefer so far. Should we try another prompt? Okay, let's try that I nerd one. So this should be a sort of painting style, reminiscent of Van Gogh with all sorts of other things in it. But essentially we've got a rodent holding a mystical plus three apple of power and the word I nerd. 
Okay, okay. So now we're starting to get a little bit of strangeness. He's got two hands, but as for the quality and the text, that's that's just silly. This is a really good model. This is most definitely, I think I can say without any shadow of a doubt, uh, the best model I've ever played with. Did did that did that come out right? Did that? No, I'm not sure. All right, fine. Uh, let let's try this prompt. Well, it's not quite perfect, but that is the most text I have ever seen in an image with a rodent before. I can definitely say that. Ooh, nerdy rodent. He really makes my day. Showing us AI in a really British way. 